ഓക്കെ ദ ബൈബിൾ ടോക്സ് അബൌട്ട് വൺ തിങ് ഒന്ന് ഞാൻ ചെയ്യുന്നു ഒന്ന് മതി ഒന്നേ വേണ്ടു ഒന്ന് നിന്നെക്കുറിച്ച് പറയാനുണ്ട് നിനക്കൊരു കുറവുണ്ട് സോ വാട്ട് ഡസ് ഇറ്റ് മീൻ ദ ബൈബിൾ ടോക്സ് അബൌട്ട് ദിസ് വൺ തിങ് ആൻഡ് ഓൾസോ ദ ബൈബിൾ ടോക്സ് അബൌട്ട് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് തിങ് സീക്ക് ഫസ്റ്റ് സീക്ക് ഫസ്റ്റ് മുൻപേ അവൻ്റെ രാജ്യം സോ ദർ ആർ തിങ്സ് ഓക്കെ വെ ഡസ് ഇറ്റ് സേ ഫസ്റ്റ് ദ ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് വി സേ ഫസ്റ്റ് തിങ്സ് ഫസ്റ്റ് സോ വാട്ട്സ് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് തിങ് ദാറ്റ് വീൽ ഷുഡ് ബി ഡൂയിങ് ഇൻ ദ എസ്പെഷ്യലി ദ ന്യൂ ഇയർ ഇസ് കമ്മിങ് ടു മോ വീക്സ് ലെസ് ദാൻ ടു വീക്സ് ഓക്കെ വി ആർ ഇൻ ടു എ ന്യൂ ഇയർ ഗോഡ് ബിലിങ് ഇഫ് ദ ലോട്ട് ആർ ഈസ് ടു കം ഓർ ഇഫ് യു ആർ സ്റ്റിൽ അലൈവ് ഓക്കെ വി വിൽ സി ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ഇയർ സോ in the next year especially in the last days of the year we uh, many good pious christians uh, go for a review not the medical checkup okay a review of our lives how was my life this year what did i take as a decision in the beginning of this year we call it newer resolutions okay does anyone have new year resolutions okay please check your diary and find okay what did you decide to do and what happened finally it's a good time these two maybe 13 more days please take some time daily and have a review a quick review of your lives especially remember if you have a problem with your body or for example doctors you ask the patients to come for the review and the patients are so very what do you call very good they just they don't miss the date they will come on that day for the review so if we are so much careful about the review of our body or health conditions how much more should we review our spiritual conditions will you say amen to that because our body finally goes to the grave but whereas our spirit has to go there so which is important is it our doctor's appointment or our appointment with the great physician who is god himself and his word okay so the first things first okay matthew 6:33 what does that show matthew 6:33 that's seek first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these thing shall be added unto you so what should we seek first the kingdom okay review number 1 in 2021 were we first seeking his kingdom what was we seeking our kingdom our own kingdom it's all about me it's mine it's i i always say most people suffer from i problem not the atomal problem it's the i capital i and ara nariya ha we have this problem so seek his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things shall be added okay what are these all these things oh some people really love that verse okay i will get all these things what roti kapda what do you what do you what will i eat what will i wear what will i stay these are the three basic necessities and before that it says don't worry about it okay seek god first and all these things your roti will come your kapda will come and definitely you will have a shelter okay so seek god first and uh, matthew 22 Matthew 22 starting from 37 That's interesting He says first and the greatest First when we say first place that's important that's what we say So which is important in other words which is the greatest which is the greatest law in the bible what did Jesus say love the lord your god with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind hallelujah that's what we were doing <laughs> but that's only one side of the coin 
many times we are one sided we all say i love god and i worship god i serve god yes you need to next verse what is the next verse this is the first and the greatest so here the first becomes the greatest also first is the greatest it's not the great it's the greatest okay what is that next and the second is like okay second doesn't mean secondary we have a problem we always we say primary and secondary <laughs> but the second is like it love your neighbor as yourself wow second it's actually a wrong translation actually the bible randamathadum adithu pole thanne na or translation yeah ah okay the second is equally important <laughs> equally nu paranja kanja it's like the first alle adha njan parayam primary secondary nilla both are greatest love your neighbor as yourself love your neighbor as yourself do you love yourself yes but do your favor please love your neighbor as yourself just as you want everything for you can you have it for your neighbor also that's why we ask the children hey when you go for christmas shopping okay ask your dad mom to get one more pair so that we can give to a person who is less fortunate i really appreciate the young youth the youth hub here they are very active in doing the christmas outreach this month starting from the beginning of this month they are doing a lot of things yesterday they went to a remote place and shared a lot of christmas gifts with those people and today also evening today evening am i right you are going to a colony here karimadam colony karimadam was one of the notorious colonies in trivandrum nobody will go there so are afraid to go but thank god our children are going there with some christmas gifts they are going to give all those uh, christmas new dress okay if you have brought extra dresses okay not the used one okay <laughs> drop in the boxes outside and if you oh i forgot okay this fellow was telling this last week also and i saw it in the group also but i forgot okay adjacent there's a shop it is open i hope they are open because today is going to be a big business day for them <laughs> so <laughs> after the church go to that shop and buy only girls dresses are there it's little costly but you have to because you should have <laughs> brought it yesterday okay so go and buy a neat dress and put it in the box so that this evening when they children go to the the colony there they will give it to a girl a young woman will wear it okay you would love to see your daughter wearing a nice cloth why can't you see another girl someone's daughter but she is not fortunate to wear a nice dress why can't you as you love your daughter can you love someone else's daughter also that's the meaning of the verse for us everything is a bible verse <laughs> that's a problem for christian this doesn't apply to us it's only we call it scriptural <laughs> but i always say scriptures are practical how do you practice it go get the dress okay if you don't want to buy the costly dress from here afternoon or maybe after the church go today the youth will be here till what time till 3:30 or 4 they are going to be here okay will be this will church will be open so you can still bring and the youth will be here give it to them they will take you to the colony okay so this is a practical thing as you love yourself please love your neighbor also then the fellows during jesus time they were so smart they said who is my neighbor <laughs> so jesus said a story what is that story the good samaritan and what is the story about a man was in trouble the priest went that way he avoided him next the pastor came he also avoided him i always say achanam poi pastorum poi rendu verum mind edilla the achan is part of this religious sect and the so called pastor is part of the spiritual sect both are sects <laughs> i say but the common man the samaritan 
He is not part of the religion. He is not part of the so-called spirituality. He is just a common man. He had compassion and he went to that ailing one and did everything that he could do. He was coming in a vehicle. Which vehicle was that? <laughs> and he got down and put this fellow on that vehicle and he was walking. He took him to the nearest hospital and stayed there that whole night with him in the ward. And early morning when he was leaving, he went to the hospital reception, gave his credit card so that they swiped and said, I'll pay everything. This is what exactly the Good Samaritan did. Did you get the point? Many times we think just buying a dress and dropping in the box, okay, I have loved my neighbor. No. You really need to sacrifice. When you really want to love someone, you need to sacrifice. That man has, was on a busy journey. Maybe he's a businessman. He's a, on his way to be, attend a very important business meeting. But everything interrupted. He has to stay that night with this unknown man. He has to spend money from his pocket. He has to walk while he is in the vehicle. So a lot of sacrifices he had to make. That's loving your neighbor. Did you get the point? That's loving your neighbor. So then what he said, 40th verse, Matthew 22, 40. These two commandments, okay, and the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. These are the two commandments. Love your God, love your neighbor. All the law and the prophets. Remember, when Jesus was telling this, that was the time of law. Now we are living in the time of grace. That means how much more, how much more we should be loving people. How much more? Okay. So that was the first things and the greatest thing. Okay, the first thing and the greatest thing. Love God, love your neighbor. Got it? Okay. Then there is one thing you should do. Do you know what is the one thing? Turn with me to Philippians chapter 3 verse 14. Especially in the last days of this year. This is very important. What is the one thing we all should be doing? What is that one thing? One thing I do. What is that? Pinmilulladhane maranna. Munbilulladhane anjyonda. Kristu eshuin devatthinde paramavulikade viridhinai. Lakkile kodunno. What is in English? This one thing I do. So please, my brothers, my sisters, I want you to do one thing. What is that? Forgetting the past. That's very, very, very difficult. Forget. How can you forget what people did to you? What people have spoken about you? What people have... What damage they have caused your reputation? It's not the reputation damage alone. It may be financial damage, loss also. How can you forget that? If you need to forget that, okay, you need to forgive that first. So this last week, I want to tell you, just folding my hands to you and say, please forgive everyone who have done anything to you this year. Forgive them. Forgive them. Then only you will be able to forget and run forward. Many times we are not able to advance. Why? Because we are tied, stuck. Because we are not able to leave it. Leave it. That's what Philippians 3.14. And uh, again, so what is that? One thing we need to do. One thing I need to do. And there is one thing the word is telling that it's lacking. One thing lacking. What is the one thing lacking? Any guess? One thing is lacking. What is that? How many Bible scholars here? One thing is lacking. Turn with me to Luke chapter 18. 
ലൂക്ക് ചാപ്റ്റർ എയ്റ്റീൻ സ്റ്റാർട്ടിംഗ് ഫ്രം വേർഡ്സ് എയ്റ്റീൻ ഓൺ വേർഡ്സ് ലൂക്ക് എയ്റ്റീൻ വേർഡ്സ് എയ്റ്റീൻ ഓൺ വേർഡ്സ് വൺ ഗായ് കെയിം ആൻഡ് ഈസ് ആസ്കിംഗ് ജീസസ് വാട്ട് ഈസ് ഈ ആസ്കിംഗ് don't believe these gadgets okay that will not work when you want it to work so always safe have your written word with you okay that's why i always carry my bible okay look 18 verse 18 says once a religious leader asked jesus this question good teacher sorry i'm reading from nlt <laughs> what should i do to inherit eternal life so jesus asking why do you call me good jesus asked him only god is truly good but to answer your question you know the commandments you must not commit adultery you must not murder you must not steal you must not testify falsely honor your father and mother the man replied i obeyed all these commandments since i was young when jesus heard his answer he said there is still one thing you have in done what does that mean one thing is lacking oru koravu ninakkunde and what is that one thing sell all your possessions and give the money to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven then come follow me but when this man heard this he was very sad why because he was very rich this is something very very important then jesus made a comment how hard it is for the rich to enter the kingdom of god in fact it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of the needle than for a rich person to enter the kingdom of god so what is what was lacking he obeyed all the commandments and jesus said good well done but one thing is lacking something is lacking what is that give it to the poor in this year 2021 how much did you give to the poor i'm asking on your face sorry let's not fool around how much did we give to the poor what have we give our offerings and tithes yeah a major portion goes to the poor <laughs> that's right but apart from that have you seen any poor people in trivandrum now we may see that trivandrum is a yajaga nirodhida mehala no beggar seen <laughs> but forget about the beggar you definitely will know someone who is in need sometimes there are people even in the church who are in need sometimes i want a why i am made a pastor <laughs> sometimes i only know the people who they will call me pastor there is a problem i have a need i have a need and i cannot say go to the committee or go to the <laughs> mercy ministry or something like that but if you are a really godly person definitely you will know without even anyone coming and asking you you will know who are the people in need your neighbor will be in need even someone in your family will be in need even your friend will be in need even your fellow brother in the church will be in need but my question is did you meet the need of your brother if you want to know the need of your brother we should know where the brother is that's why one question there is in the bible hey where is your brother immediately that fellow replied what was the reply am i my brother's keeper that's our attitude many times i'm not bothered about him why should i worry about my brother god has blessed me i'm on my way to heaven that's all 
but sell your possessions. That means everything that you say that you own, sell it. Don't have it for you. Give it, then come. In the earlier times, especially in the last century, when missionaries from England and uh, America want to come to India or China or any places like that, do you know what they did first? They sold everything. And they took a ship and came. And many of the missionaries who came to India, they never had a place to go back because they sold everything. And if you go to even some remote places in Tamil Nadu, you will see a tomb of a missionary who came in the 18th century, 19th century, and they died and they were buried here. I have seen such graves even in some interior part of North and North India and even Northeast India. I still remember, I forgot where in Northeast. I went to a very strange place and I saw a, a tomb. I said, whose tomb is here? Then they were, it was a tomb of a missionary, a, a Scottish man. Or, I was so shocked. Even at that time, we are struggling to go there because of the road. At that time, how did this man come? Maybe he came in a horse or something like that. But he came with the gospel. Definitely he might have had a nice home, back home. He left his family, his relatives. All his comforts, luxuries, everything he left. He came to this dark place at that time. India was a very dark place. Why did he come? He sold everything, gave and came. He didn't sell and give all the money there to the poor. No. For the poor here, blessed are the poor. He became poor for the sake of God. That's why we heard the gospel. If we are Christians in India now, someone had sold everything and gave it. Gave it to the poor. That's why we are here. Not they gave any money. They gave the gospel. And how could they give the gospel? They have to sell everything and come. Did you get the point? So compared to the sacrifices of all the missionaries, what are we doing now? What are we doing now? Okay. One thing. What is the next one thing? One thing I desire. Psalms 27, 4. Psalms 27, 4. What is the one thing I desire? 27, 4. Yeah. The one thing I ask of the Lord, the one thing I seek most, is to live in the house of the Lord and all the days of my life, delighting in the Lord's perfection and meditating in His temple. What is the one thing do you desire God? Do you desire to live in His presence? That's what it means. Not to come to the church and stay here. No. Live in His presence. That's why the psalmist says, where do I, where do I go from here? Where will I go? Where can I go? Or why should I go from your presence? If I go from your presence, I will perish. Better, I'll stay with you. So this morning, where were we living in 2021? Where were we living in 2021? Just on a Sunday morning for two hours we came to the church and thought we were living in the presence of God. But where were we living the rest of the six days? Forget about where, where. Where are you living? Please take a decision. Lord, hereafter I want to live in your presence. Because every place apart from your presence is a very slippery place. We can fall any time. Anything can happen. One thing is needed. What is that one thing? Luke 10, 41 and 42. Luke 10, 41 and 42. One thing is needed. What is that? Jesus told Martha, Hey, Martha, you are worried and upset over all these details. Okay, 
next verse one thing 42 one thing is needed and that one thing that's worth being concerned about mary has discovered it and it will not be taken away from her what did mary discover mary discovered that sitting in the feet of jesus is that one thing mary was very martha was very busy in the kitchen sisters you are very busy in the kitchen nowadays even sisters are not that busy because of swiggy so one thing is needed sitting in the presence of god that's needed that's the one thing which is needed finally god has one thing against you against you and me god has one thing do you know what is that one thing turn with me to revelation chapter 2 and verse 4 revelation chapter 2 and verse 4 what is that one thing one thing god is telling a complaint എന്നാൽ ഒരു കാര്യം നിന്നെക്കുറിച്ച് പറവാനുണ്ട് ഇസ് ദാറ്റ് ദ വേഴ്സ് യാ വട്ട് ഐ ഹാവ് ദിസ് കംപ്ലൈൻ്റ് അഗൻസ്റ്റ് യു ഒരു കംപ്ലൈൻ്റേ ഉള്ളൂ എന്താണ് യു ഡോണ്ട് ലവ് മീ യോർ ഈച്ച് അത് ആസ് യു ഡിറ്റ് അറ്റ് ഫസ്റ്റ് യു ലോസ്റ്റ് യുവർ ഫസ്റ്റ് ലവ് first love means not our first love toward god alone even our first love with each other can we check our lives have a review of our lives do we love god as we loved him when we came to the lord do i love him as i loved him before covid how is your post covid love okay forget about loving god how about one another do we love each other can you oh it's very interesting even if you look at one another some are strangers okay do i love my brother as i loved him 2 years back i don't know how to put this cross to you <laughs> as a pastor do i love all of you as i loved you when i first met you that's a good question am i right <laughs> okay now i come to the difficult part do you love the pastor <laughs> as you loved him when you met him first when you met for the pastor for the first time you saw that he is an angel and he is the best man of god in town he is the perfect bible teacher he is the spirit anointed man but after what happened my wife is showing the watch samay aayi poan the junior church has to happen here what is the one thing that is missing and lacking can we pray can we pray heavenly father we heard your word about the one thing but many times we are talking about many things but the one thing we miss lord we commit our lives to you this end of this year so that we will review our lives sitting with your word and sitting in your presence and taking the help of the counsel of the holy spirit so that you will correct us help us give us the grace to live a victorious life in the coming year lord thank you lord bless the junior church and bless the next service also and all the churches which meet in the city lord we bless them we give you all the glory in jesus name we pray amen